Dropbox also gives you the option to assign tasks to other people. So maybe if you need to delegate your workflow or if you're working on a project with somebody else, it actually gives you the option to assign them a task and they'll get a little email notification similar to like a calendar invite. So to, to assign a task to someone, we're actually just gonna create a new task. So I'm gonna head back up to the new section, create a new task. And as you can see here, we're going to create our little subject. So we're going to have this be, um, I need a monthly budget done. Oops. Monthly budget. And uh, we'll have the start date be today. And I want that due date on Tuesday. So the status is not started. We're going to make this high priority, hasn't been completed. Uh, and I don't need a reminder. To assign this task to somebody else, we're gonna head up to that ribbon where we see Manage Task, and we're gonna click Assign Task. Now you see it's gonna change a little bit, and now it kind of has a little bit of an email message look. Now we have a two. So I'm gonna assign this to Ellen Wilson, and you have the option actually to keep an updated copy of this task, so it will still appear in your task list so you can see it, and it also will send you a status report when the task is completed. And now you also can send like an email message, hi Ellen. So you can send your little message in there. And once you're all ready with your tasks and your details for it, you can hit send. And you will see though that the monthly budget has appeared in my next week, but you can see that it is your waiting response from the recipient, but you can see that it is, a, is an assigned task to somebody else. And as you can see, the little, so instead of having a clipboard with a check mark, it's actually a clipboard with a person on it, meaning that this is a task that you've assigned for somebody else. And that is how you can assign tasks in Outlook.